Hello everyone and welcome back to Stamping Squirrels. It's Squirrel 2 here, Debbie, and today I'd like to show you how to make this masculine card. And we're going to be using the Sailing Home stamp set from Stamping Up. Really useful stamp set this one. Masculine cards, right, are the most difficult cards to make for us ladies, I think, because we've got loads of ideas for pretty cards for our friends and family, but when it comes to making male cards, really hard. So today, the Sailing Home um, card that we're going to do, it's got like a little front sort of pocket on the front in a circle. I don't really know what else to call that. Um, and we've got a 3D boat in there. The great thing about the Sailing Home stamp set is that it's really versatile. You can make loads of great masculine cards with this stamp set, but also, in my opinion, I find that you can also make sympathy cards, sincere wishes cards, that kind of thing. It's got, like I said, a lot of versatility. So we're going to be using this stamp set today and we're going to be making this very simple, just white and blue card, really masculine colours. So let's get started. Put that to one side. So for today's card, what you will need to make it is um, you will need a piece of uh, white, white card base, and this measures eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. And it's scored at four and one eighth to make a card like so. Uh, then you need a navy, Knight of Navy card mat, which is four inches by five and three quarter inches. And then a piece of DSP, and that measures three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. Now this DSP unfortunately is now retired, but it's from the coordinating sailing home bundle. Uh, I had some few bits, few sheets left really, and so I thought it was a good way to use this up. Great um, DSP, great paper, and it's a real shame that this is now retired. Um, you're also going to need a couple of punch circles. So the navy circle measures one and three quarters, and I'm use, I've used um, my stamping up punches for these. So one and three quarters, and a white one at one and a half here. And then you're also going to be using some circle dies to, to make out the circles, the aperture that the boat sits in. And so these circles, um, the larger one is three inches, and then the one that sits inside is two and five eighths inches. So that's going to make one white circle at three inches, and then one navy circle at three inches, and then you're going to come along and you're going to put the two and five eighths of an inch circle on the inside when you cut them like this, and that will create you a little ring like that which will go around the outside of your card. You don't really need the centre after you've done but you can actually keep this and use it for another purpose later on. Okay so that's those bits and then you're going to need a piece of scrap to stamp your sailing ship and anything else that you want to just use and you just need a piece of coordinating ribbon. So for this particular card here what I've used is I've used the ribbon, the vanilla ribbon that comes with the Forever Greenery trim. It's a combo pack with a thin gold metallic sort of twine and then this vanilla sort of open thread ribbon. And I'm going to just use that and fray the edges to go underneath there. You can of course use navy ribbon if you wish or a different colour altogether, but that's the one I've chosen for this particular card. So let's get started. So pretty simple to start with. I'm going to take my stamping seal, just bring that up like that. And I'm going to just start by sticking the DSP onto the matte card. Okay, and I'm just then going to burnish the fold on my card base. And then I'm going to stick this. Great, now I can pop that to one side because that's the card base done. And let's start by stamping the image of the ship. So the image of the ship on here, this lovely little schooner here, I've chosen to go with the larger one. It fits really nicely into that circle. So I've already got that prepared onto a block. Bringing my black memento ink in. 
squirrels are wonderful, squirrels are wonderful, squirrels are wonderful. And you get a really nice image. Now you could leave that if you wanted to and then not colour it in, but I'm going to use some blender pens and I've got a couple of, just a couple of really simple colours here. So this one is the light and dark smoky slate. And then the other colour that I've selected today, I have to look it up because I've forgotten, is the light and dark seaside spray. Okay, and I'm just going to now colour those in really quick. I'm going to start with the seaside spray and just lightly do the sails. Lots of people start with the dark. I actually prefer to start with the light and then go in with the dark and then go back with the light again. I want to leave some spaces of white. When you actually cut this um, ship out with the die here, um, I'm going to show you one that I prepared earlier so you get a sense of what I'm talking about. So you actually do get quite a little bit of the sea left around the bottom of the boat and I wanted to give a uh, sort of an image of the sun shining down on the sea so the sea is slightly lighter in places and darker in others. And so that's what I'm just going to try and do here. Okay, and then for the ship itself, really simple, a little bit of grey. Great, move those out of the way. And then I'm going to go off now and cut that out with the die. That just fits really nicely over there. And we'll go off and do that. Okay, so I've cut my boat out with the die. And so the next thing that I really want to do is I want to go and cut the two um, circles out. So if you remember, if I bring these back and just show you, I'm going to cut one three inch circle like this. And that's what you're going to actually put your boat onto. And you're also going to stamp onto that white circle. And you're also going to cut one three inch navy circle. Knight of Navy, so cut a three inch navy. But when you cut it, use the smaller one inside, like this. And I found it really useful to tape them together with washi tape, because it fits very snugly inside like this. I put a piece of washi tape on either side to keep it aligned, uh, and then I popped it through. And then when you cut those out, you are then left with a rim, which will go on here like this and then this bit is spare and you can put this to one side and use it another time. Okay so I've now cut that out so I have one three inch circle and I have this rim which is slightly, I'm going to be honest, slightly a little bit thicker here than it is here but for the purposes of showing you I got it absolutely right on this one which is fantastic but you can't always get it right. This is why it's so important to cut to stick the two pieces together and make sure you get a really even round aperture. All right, so you're taking this one and what I did with the background here is that I stamped some seagulls. This is also the seagulls from the Sailing Home stamp set, just here. Um, placing your boat, whoops, placing your boat on here, you can kind of get a sense of where you want your seagulls to be. I just did the seagulls in black memento ink. And so the next thing is that you're going to actually stick your round edge, the blue edge now, to the edge of your disc. Now you can actually do this in a number of ways. There are a number of foam pads that you can use from stamping up. I actually prefer, because it's quite skinny, to use these which are the foam adhesive strips because they're already nice and thin and cut to size I find these really useful so I'm going to use one of these if I can get it off turn it over
All right, so now that that's stuck down, I'm just going to peel off the backing. And I'm going to stick it down onto the edge. Okay, and you can see then that you've got nice disc, seagulls at the top, and then you're going to bring back your boat and you're going to pop your boat into the aperture and you can either, again, stick this down with dimensions or you can stick it with glue, wet glue, straight down onto the white surface. I'm going to actually stick mine down with dimensionals. Excellent like that. So if I bring the cards back, I'm going to place it like so. Okay? And then we'll move on to the next stage. Okay, so you've got to this stage. So what you now have, you've got a piece of scrap circle that I'm going to use to punch out with my, with my uh, circle punch and a piece of scrap white. So you need one punch out of the one and a half inch punch and then you can use this one to punch out the other one. I knew it would come in useful for something. Put that over to one side. So there you've got your two discs like this. And because I wanted this to be a masculine birthday card I'm actually going to stamp on here. Now I've chosen the happy birthday from Seaside Notions. Um, I really like the font on that um, happy birthday on this particular one. I think it's a really nice swirly font and I thought it went really well with this particular sort of movement. So I've chosen the happy birthday which I've already lined up and again using black memento ink just going to carefully pop this onto here. So now that I've stamped out and punched out the happy birthday I'm also going to take my finger dauber for my seaside spray colour and I'm just going to do a little bit of sponging just around the edges. I just want this to stand out a little bit and just add to the blue. So just really gently just around the edge and when I place that on top it's just got a little fuzzy blue around the edge. Okay, that's great. So I'm going to stick this on now and I'm just going to stick it on. Great. So that's stuck on. So the next stage is to pop these onto my card. Um, so it's time to pull things together really. So if you look at the previous card, put those together, that's all ready to go. I just need to do something with the ribbon. And so what I've chosen to do to the ribbon is just fray the edges. Lovely, I've got lovely frayed ends now. So I might do things, mix things up slightly this time. I folded this over like this, and then this is going to stick to the underneath of the of the punched out circles. Okay. And then the last thing really is if you wanted to add, you could add some more decorations and gems. Um, I happen to have with me gems that came with this particular bundle, which were just lovely little, little um, anchors and, oh my gosh, I want to call that a steering wheel, but it's not. Ship's wheel. Let's call it a ship's wheel. I'm going to stick an anchor on because I... I think I would like to put one just there and I'm probably going to use a glue dot to do that. I'm probably going to put two on. It's quite a substantial little. And I think I might just put one or two gems on. I don't want to put too many gems on because in the end it is a chap's card. It's not a lady's card. So I'm going to take the in colour gems. So there, that's the card. So 
there's my two cards. I hope you've enjoyed it. This has been Stamping Squirrel, Squirrel 2. I'm making a masculine card using the Sailing Home stamp set. So it's been really great. Thanks so much for your company. I hope you've enjoyed it. And we hope to see you again soon on Stamping Squirrels. Thank you. Bye-bye.